Welcome back guys. Now we're going to be doing radioactivity and the nuclear atom. Question 11 to 15, paper 15054. Let's start. Question 11. Radioactive isotopes that emit alpha particles, beta particles and gamma rays are stored in wooden boxes that are lined with a material that prevents most radiation escaping from the box. I think we all know what is happening here. So which material is used? So the lining wooden box radioactive isotopes or box lining it it will be copper glass lead lead is an effective like source against various types of radiation because the atomic number jotana that is very high and the density too so yeah it is a very simple and straightforward answer question 12 three types of radiation emitted by unstable nuclei are helium nuclei short wavelength electromagnetic waves and electrons what are these three types of radiations helium is mainly alpha or about gamma and then beta these are the three types of radiation he's talking about and that is alpha is positive right and the gamma is neutral and the beta is negative like electrons this so yeah straight away answer again yeah on the pishli video bhi kiya sa, if you wanna like recap a pishli video bhi dek sakte hai. question 13 so now the questions are getting a bit interesting radioactive emissions have different characteristics a student lists the following characteristics for an alpha particle so alpha particles ki teen characteristics diya where humne determine karna hai ki koon se wali sahi hai so this is an interesting question that will like clear out some of your concepts regarding this alpha particles. So basically the first thing they have told us characteristic P has a positive charge. Alpha particles do have positive charge and that is correct. So yeah. So P is correct. Q it has a high penetrating ability. It does not have a high penetrating ability. Like on an opposite side, it has the least penetrating ability. If you a thin piece of paper, lo, it will not be able to penetrate through that paper. Although, the ionizing effect hai, that is the highest. But, the penetrating power hai, that is the lowest. Hai na? It cannot pass a... Takriban, yeah. It can be pa it can pass through air up to 5 centimeters and it can be stopped by a paper so yeah that is not correct so not correct q uh, green is not correct right or again they say the characteristic r it is a component of electromagnetic spectrum nope it is not so only p is correct yeah question 14 question 14 bola gaya hai. a wooden box is believed to be 6000 years old which isotope found in object is used to determine the age of the object so i think we know what he is talking about he is talking about carbon dating so carbon dating ke liye carbon 14 use hota hai and it is yeah it is widely used to determine what the organic or, or the age of the organic material by measuring the decay of carbon 14 isotopes right within that specific sample so carbon 14 hota hai, it's a radioactive isotope of carbon or it decays over time and its half life is approximately 6000 or 5700 years. And if we compare this ratio compare kare carbon 14 ka with a sample, so we can estimate how much the half life is, right? So yeah, we will see now. Question C. Which statement about nuclear fusion is correct? The statement about nuclear fusion that is correct is nuclear fusion only occurs at low temperature. That is incorrect. Nuclear fusion only occurs in very extremely high temperatures. And that is why we see nuclear fusion happening on the sun because it has extremely high temperatures. And yeah, that. B. Nuclear fusion only occurs between heavy nuclei. It does not ha occur between heavy heavy nuclei. Although it is the opposite, it only occurs in light nuclei such as hydrogen isotopes and like heavy nuclei. Nahi kar sakte, right? So yeah, 
आगे हम देख लेते हैं सी न्यूक्लियर फ्यूजन अकर्स इन द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ मेनी स्टार्स दैट इज करेक्ट सो या न्यूक्लियर फ्यूजन अकर्स इन फॉर्मेशन ऑफ मेनी स्टार्स सो या न्यूक्लियर फ्यूजन इज द प्रोसेस बाय व्हिच स्टार्स इंक्लूडिंग आवर सन जो हमारा सन है इंक्लूडिंग दैट दे जनरेट एनर्जी दैट इज व्हाई जो हमारी सारी एनर्जी इन द अर्थ है ना that is related to the energy from the sun right so because sun ki jo rays aati hain hamari wo crops ko grow karti hain hamari crops ko jab wo grow karengi tab sara ecosystem build hota hai uske around hamare jo crops ho gaye ya hamari trees ho gayi unko bada karengi so that is how all the ecosystem works isse hamare paas trees aati hain trees ke upar se fruits aate hain fruits जानवर खाते हैं जानवर को हम खाते हैं या अदर कार्डन वर्ड खाते हैं सो दैट इज अल एंड अमाउंट ऑफ एनर्जी सो दैट इज हाउ दैट इज हाउ द साइकिल वर्क क्वेश्चन पार्ट डी पार्ट डी स्टेट के न्यूक्लियर फ्यूजन पावर मोस्टली इलेक्ट्रिक जनरेटिंग स्टेशन नो ऑल दो वी हैव बिन ट्राइंग दिस वी हैव नॉट बिन सक्सेसफुल सेंस क्योंकि ये इतने हाई टेम्परेचर्स भी होते हैं दैट वी कैन नॉट लाइक वी कैन नॉट फाइंड अ सब्सटेंस दैट कैन विदस्टैंड दैट टेम्परेचर राइट न्यूक्लियर फ्यूजन इज नॉट येट प्रैक्टिकल मेथड ऑफ जनरेटिंग इलेक्ट्रिसिटी बिकॉज या दैट रीजन ऑल दो इट इज अ वेरी वेल रिसर्च आपने सुना होगा कि इट इज द नेक्स्ट ब्रेक थ्रू इन आर फ्यूचर के हम इससे अनलिमिटेड एनर्जी प्रोड्यूस कर सकते हैं और ऑलमोस्ट अनलिमिटेड एनर्जी एंड इट इज अ वेरी एफिशिएंट वे ऑफ कन्वर्टिंग एनर्जी तो या दैट इज गोन बी आंसर विच इज डी आई हैव एक्सप्लेन दिस इन वेरी मच डिटेल और आई डोंट थिंक यू शुड हैव एनी प्रॉब्लम इन अंडरस्टैंडिंग द ऑल द मतलब फ्यूजन न्यूक्लियर फ्यूजन वगैरह सो या दैट इज गोन बी इट फॉर दिस वीडियो आई होप यू एंजॉय हैव अ ग्रेट डे अल्लाह हाफिज